Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Johnny here from MTV Trail Rider. We are out here at White Oak Mountain as usual. It's a common go-to place. Uh, but today I am filming on a new camera from Insta360. It's called the Go2. Uh, if you guys remember in the past, I had the 1X for a little while and uh, played around with that with the 360 camera. This is not a 360 camera, but this is their uh, mini camera. It's like a very versatile, uh, tiny little camera. It's really kind of fun to play with. I've got just a little bit of time on it uh, so far. We're going to take you out on some trails with it and uh, kind of share about some of the exciting and really cool camera angles I'll be able to create with this. Um, so let me kind of show you the camera. Also, just to give you guys some insight on your bottom right uh, side, wherever this is going to be on your camera, on the bottom right side of the screen, you'll see a watermark for Insta360 shot, Insta360 go to. That way you guys will be able to distinguish distinguish between the Insta360 camera uh, versus just like my camera, my other stock camera I'll be using. So let me grab that camera for you. So here is that tiny little camera here. So uh, super small. I think they said it's like 27, 28 grams or something like that. Super tiny. It's probably about the size of like a thumb drive. It got a magnetic back. So there's no like screen on it. It's not, it doesn't have the bulge like lens here. Sorry, I don't want it to focus on me. It's just a flat lens. So it does still create some wide angles, but it doesn't have the full like 180 view like you might have with other uh, 360 cameras uh, to get that. But that's okay. That's not what this is. This is not a 360 camera. This is just the brand Insta360. It's all for like just quick shots, uh, versatility. This whole front is like a button. Uh, you can press it once. And so it was off. I pressed it once and now it went into uh, the pro video mode. So I have it all set in just pro video. There's a lot of different settings like time lapse. There's just regular video, there's pictures, there's lots of different settings you can do on this. I just got it all set for the one setting I'm always going to use, which is the pro video. And the pro video is um, what's going to create the best settings for me for exporting, for pro providing some good, uh, higher quality stuff for you guys. Also, the pro video allows me to uh, edit the video to either be a vertical like 9 by 16 or horizontal 16 by 9. Uh, depending on what I'm going to use it for. So if I want to take some of those clips and share it on social media, you know, Instagram, you know, something like that, it'll, a lot of times the vertical video tends to be a little bit better uh, for those social media type settings. But yeah, uh, a lot of talking, uh, it's a lot of talking about this. I want to kind of share some more things while we ride and while we show you some cool things. But again, this is magnetic back. So one thing is really cool. I can just stick it to the side of my car and use this. So if I'm going to be talking like I am right now, um, I can uh, just go ahead and start that camera. And here we are finishing this conversation on the Insta360 Go 2. As you can see, it creates a wide, wide angle for me. Again, uh, don't forget the Insta360 watermark. You can actually take that watermark off in your settings on the apps. That way you guys don't have to have that if you guys don't want that extra promotion or advertisement. Uh, for me, I'm keeping that for this video so that way you guys can see what's actually used, what is actually coming from the Insta360 Go To and what's from uh, my phone or my GoPro that I'll be using. All right, bear with me guys. We're gonna get on the trails here really soon. Uh, so this has this backing. This will pretty much attach to any really smooth surface. And again, this these just mounts just like as a magnet, as a magnet, but it's just there, and just sticks. Um, really, actually, really sticky too. And it's got that little swivel mount. You can just go here. You can turn it. And what's cool, I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. You can see that it's horizontal. It's here. We're able to then wrap it underneath. So it's not like I'm normally going to use this camera angle for anything outside of just this, outside of this, just the shot. One thing I haven't shown you guys, I got this pendant I wear underneath my, my shirt and I can just go ahead and pop off this camera and you're now stuck to my chest. And we're now going to keep going for this ride. One thing I noticed that it actually does really good with stabilization given how small the camera is and given that you're just mounted to a magnetic pendant hanging around my neck on my shirt. All right, so here's the camera. 
that's how it, all it is. I was referencing the magnetic pendant. There it is. Yeah, it's just crazy. Like, look how small this is. I don't have the visor attachment, but that goes onto like your hat, the bill of your hat. I could probably mount it to my visor right here. And so I was trying to show you this earlier. With this on, it has a horizon locking just kind of built into it. So obviously pointing up and down, it'll flow with that. But if I turn it left or right or even upside down, I'm gonna show you guys this camera here now. It just, it stays steady. So it's gonna look odd, especially when you're like, got this view and turning here, cause you'll see my arm kind of twisting around the camera, but the camera stays steady. And which is helpful when you're doing kind of crazy mounts like what we had here because I can I, I just have it angled different ways and I can turn it this way. And when it's turned sideways, I can still choose in post-production if I want a vertical shot or if I want a horizontal. So it doesn't matter which way the camera is actually angled, it'll pick up the shot that I need it to pick up, which is super cool and makes it really easy for, for getting shots without having to be like, oh, I wonder if it's in the camera or in the lens. Like you still obviously need to make sure it's pointed where you want it to go but I don't need to say, oh, I want a vertical shot or I want a horizontal shot or I have to crop it in post-production. I can just, it's a button I press. This camera does a 1440 in the pro video. Obviously not gonna be as high quality as like a GoPro doing 5K or other action cameras. But where this camera wins is in the versatility. And just being able to create some cool stuff. You guys don't need like any really crazy mounts because the mounts that come with it can do so much. This adhesive is like super strong. You can see it. I've already attached it multiple times. That's all it is. When you're done, you just kind of re-clean it with just like some soap and water, and then you slide it back into the case. So yeah, the mounts of this is just super cool. Already using this camera a lot and been kind of playing around with it. But just because like if I'm doing stuff in the garage, I'm working on the bike, it's so nice just to be able to take this camera that shoots like still excellent and like I'm just like mounted to the back of my car through the magnet and it just does its thing you know it's it's gonna be so nice but even with this attachment i can just stick it to any wall if i'm working in the house or whatever it might be to create like a cool storyline for a video you know kind of doing like a day in the life of mtb trail rider not that many of you guys would care about that but it's just things like that that could be kind of cool uh to play around with and really excited about this opportunity to kind of uh, use this camera and work with uh, insta360 if you guys are interested there's been an affiliate link uh, hopefully in the description by now this is its charging case, which almost looks like an AirPods uh, a case here. It comes with a built-in tripod, which isn't the best tripod in the world. I think the legs need to be a little bit wider and a little bit stronger, but this allows you to kind of just set it up on your desk if you're gonna be doing some vlogging or uh, just want to, if you're at a table, a uh, restaurant or anything like that, just want to get some of your buddies and uh, just want to get a shot from there. You can just quickly set this up. It's a little bit better than using a phone because then you're not trying to prop the phone up on anything. You don't have to have, to have a second tripod. So the battery life in this camera, I think it's like 30 minutes or so of recording, um, but this is a charging case itself. So I think this can add up to two hours to your, uh, to your recording and things like that. This also works as a great way to uh, hold and your camera. Anyways, I, uh, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate you guys following along, checking out this camera, following this channel, following me and uh, my adventures that I'm doing mountain biking. And thank you guys so much for watching and supporting this channel. I appreciate you guys and uh, stick around for more coming soon.